Hey folks, Kyle Keel here with a new training video for you, and as you'll see from the opening images that I put uh, in every video that I do, I have a new one for my collection, and that's the logo for 22nd Street Barbell. There's a story that goes with that, but before I get to that story, let me just try and outline the training that I'm doing in this video for you, which actually takes place over two days and in two gyms. And so this first session was a bench session. It was a pause bench session with an hour grip. I was finishing out my last meso cycle, and uh, this day called for 305 for a max rep set. Um, I only got two reps on my first set and was really unhappy with that. Tried it again, only got two reps again. It was very frustrating because, especially on the second rep, I felt like the first two reps moved pretty well, but I just, I had no gas, and it felt like I just... I wasn't able to continue to work through the set. I just, again, I just gassed out very quickly. And uh, so that probably is a byproduct of um, recovery, both in terms of diet and in terms of rest. My sleep really hasn't been great. It's a very stressful period um, in our lives right now, and I'll get to that in just a second. And, uh, and so the sum total of uh, the factors associated with recovery um, has probably led me to take a little bit of a hit on my bench press. Now 305 for 2 with a narrow grip, which is what I was using for this session, which for me is a full hand length inside of where I feel strongest, which is a big difference. Uh, it's not exactly it's not exactly a bad set. It projects out to about 320, which is kind of in line with where I'd expect that lift to be. But uh, it's not quite what I wanted on that day, and those rep numbers from that meso have consistently gone down. So can't afford to fail two reps on a top set in a session, so I'm going to write a new meso, and I'm going to, with that new meso, make sure that I'm doing lighter exertion work, accumulating more volume again, and just making sure that I stay healthy while rebuilding some of my bench strength. I'd say right now I'm probably still good for about a 340 bench. But I haven't made uh, much of any progress over the last month. Um, at this point, it's time to just uh, run, again, another accumulation phase, reduce some of the intensity and reduce some of the volume in training sessions. So I'll start planning that after this weekend because my next and final bench session from this meso happens today. So we'll see how that goes. Did pause deadlifting and squatting at a new gym. This is 22nd Street Barbell. It's a gym in Des Moines which is where my fiancé and I now live as of two days ago. We just made the move. Um, it's a, a fantastic gym in the Midwest, uh, probably one of the best powerlifting gyms in the Midwest, with a lot of really good, really knowledgeable, really nice lifters, and so I feel very appreciative to be able to be a member at this particular facility. For my first session, I did pause deadlifts and squats because I had to double up on the sessions because we've been doing uh, moving and our previous day was just spent moving, loading boxes, unloading boxes, etc., etc. Worked up to 480 for a pause double, missed the third rep, which you didn't see because I lost my balance and that was really frustrating because I knew I was strong enough. So then got a little carried away, did a set of four. But the pause deadlifts felt as good as they have the whole training cycle, and that was the best my deadlift has felt the whole training cycle. Then got back to my squatting. Pelvis is still achy, but I got in a couple of sets. 365 for 6 is pretty good. I've done 365 for 10, but uh, 365 for 6 at this point, being a non-AMRAP, is a very good number, and I was very happy about that. Anyway, good to be back. Good to be making videos. Keep checking in. More for you very soon.